black holes and the puzzling concept of the singularity. So what exactly is a singularity? Imagine squeezing all the mass of a star, let's say 10 times the mass of our sun, into a point so small it has virtually no volume. At this point, the density and gravity become so extreme that they theoretically reach infinity. This is what we call a singularity. It's where the conventional laws of physics as we know them just give up. Now you might be wondering, why doesn't a black hole just remain super dense rather than stretching to infinity? Well, according to Einstein's general theory of relativity, when a massive star collapses under its own gravity at the end of its life, it should theoretically compress down to a single point, creating a singularity. But here's the kicker. The concept of infinity often signals a breakdown in our current understanding, suggesting that our theories might be incomplete. Enter Gravistars, a recent and riveting twist in the tale of black holes. These hypothetical objects are thought to be made up of dark energy. Yes, the same mysterious force that's pulling our universe apart. Instead of a singularity, Gravistars would have a core where space-time continues smoothly. This model could potentially do away with the troublesome infinities that singularities present. And then there's the quantum angle. Quantum mechanics, which deals with the universe at the smallest scales, does not really get along with the idea of a singularity. Some physicists speculate that at the center of a black hole, there might instead be a quantum core, where matter is extremely dense, but not infinitely so. This theoretical core would adhere to quantum rules, which forbid anything from being infinite. So, could this quantum core resolve the battle between the theories of general relativity and quantum mechanics over black holes? It's a possibility that could change everything we think we know about these cosmic giants. In summary, while black holes are often visualized as cosmic vacuum cleaners with a point of infinite density at their core, modern physics is painting a more complex picture. From gravistars to quantum cores, our understanding of these fascinating entities continues to evolve, challenging our imaginations and theories alike. The birth of a black hole is typically the end result of the life cycle of a massive star, one that is at least several times more massive than our Sun. Here's a detailed look at how these gravitational giants come into existence. The story begins when a massive star reaches the end of its life. Such stars burn through their nuclear fuel much faster than smaller stars like our Sun. When they exhaust the thermonuclear fuels in their core, they can no longer sustain the nuclear fusion reactions that have been countering the force of gravity throughout their lifetimes. As the fusion reactions cease, the core becomes unstable and can no longer support the weight of the outer layers of the star. This leads to a catastrophic gravitational collapse, where the core implodes and the star's outer layers are violently ejected into space in a supernova explosion. During the collapse, the core's matter is compressed to an incredibly high density. If the remaining mass of the core is about three times greater than the mass of the Sun, the gravitational pull becomes so strong that not even light can escape. This boundary beyond which nothing can escape is known as the event horizon and it marks the birth of a black hole. At the very centre of a black hole lies the singularity, a point where the density is thought to be infinite and the laws of physics as we know them break down. The singularity is hidden from the outside universe by the event horizon and it constitutes the heart of the black hole. Once formed, black holes can grow by absorbing mass from their surroundings. They can attract and consume gas, dust, and even entire stars. Supermassive black holes, which can be millions to billions of times the mass of the Sun, may form by absorbing other stars, merging with other black holes, or through the direct collapse of massive gas clouds. So, from the fiery death of a massive star, to the formation of an event horizon and the mysterious singularity, black holes are born from the ashes of stellar giants. Let's shift our focus to another captivating concept that often intertwines with black holes and the fabric of space-time itself. Time travel. The allure of time. Travel. The idea of time travel captivates the imagination because it presents the opportunity to correct past mistakes, witness historical events firsthand, or gain insights into the future. 
It's a concept that allows us to ponder what-if scenarios and explore the consequences of actions in a way that's otherwise impossible. Scientific Foundations of Time Travel From a scientific standpoint, time travel is not just a flight of fancy. Albert Einstein's theories of relativity suggest that time is not absolute but relative and it can be affected by speed and gravity. According to Einstein's theory, as you approach the speed of light, time slows down relative to observers at rest. This phenomenon, known as time dilation, has been experimentally confirmed using precise clocks on airplanes and satellites. The Possibility of Future Travel while travelling back in time remains highly speculative and fraught with paradoxes, moving forward in time is theoretically possible. If one were to travel at speeds close to the speed of light or reside in a strong gravitational field, like near a black hole, they would experience time more slowly than observers far from these conditions. This means that upon returning to a less extreme environment, they would have effectively travelled into the future. Challenges and Paradoxes Despite the theoretical underpinnings, practical time travel faces enormous technical challenges. Achieving speeds close to the speed of light requires energy that is currently beyond our capabilities. Moreover, the idea of travelling back in time introduces paradoxes, such as the famous grandfather paradox, where a time traveller could potentially prevent their own existence by altering past events. The verdict on time travel so, is time travel really true? In the sense of moving forward in time, it is a reality, albeit on a scale far smaller than what's depicted in science fiction. As for travelling back in time, it remains a topic of theoretical debate with no conclusive evidence or mechanism to support it. The fascination with time travel continues to inspire scientific inquiry and imaginative storytelling, reflecting our innate desire to understand the mysteries of time and our place within its continuum. As we continue our journey through the cosmos, let's delve into the fascinating and often perplexing world of time travel paradoxes. These paradoxes challenge our understanding of cause and effect, and they add layers of complexity to the already enigmatic concept of time travel. The Grandfather Paradox First up is the Grandfather Paradox, arguably the most famous of all time travel paradoxes. It poses a simple yet profound question. What would happen if you travelled back in time and killed your own grandfather before your parent was born? If your grandfather died before your parent's conception, you could never have been born, which means you could never have travelled back in time to commit the act in the first place. This paradox challenges the very fabric of causality. The Bootstrap Paradox Next, we have the bootstrap paradox, also known as an ontological paradox. This involves an object or piece of information that is sent back in time and becomes the source of itself in the future. Imagine a time traveller who gives a young William Shakespeare a copy of Hamlet, and Shakespeare then publishes it as his own work. The play exists in the future because the time traveller brought it back. But where did the original come from? This paradox raises questions about the origins of information and objects. The predestination paradox. The predestination paradox occurs when a time traveler's actions in the past are part of events that have already occurred, leading to a self-fulfilling prophecy. For instance, a person travels back to save someone from an accident only to cause the accident themselves. The events are predestined to happen because the time traveler was always meant to be part of them. This paradox explores the inevitability of certain events. Polchinski's Paradox Polchinski's Paradox, also known as the Billiard Ball Paradox, involves a billiard ball entering a time machine and emerging in the past just in time to collide with its earlier self, preventing it from entering the time machine in the first place. It creates a scenario where the event both happens and does not happen, pushing the boundaries of our understanding of time and causality. Newcomb's Paradox While not strictly a time travel paradox, Newcomb's Paradox deals with the implications of foreknowledge of the future, which is a related concept. It questions how free will can exist if the outcome of our choices is already known in advance. 